still squeaking. Hi, everybody. It's Friday, November 4th. Um, three days before we start our full-on band rehearsals uh, with the immediate family for our upcoming gigs and then off to New York for the uh, Doc Fest uh, in uh, New York City. And really excited, Denny. Uh, spoke with Denny Tedesco yesterday. They're screening our movie on the night of the 15th and then on the day of the 16th. And they say tickets and interest is so high that they've added a third screening on the 17th. Um, I can't be at that one because uh, we have gigs starting the 18th back here in LA. So I'm going to have to be flying home the night of the uh, 16th after the uh, showing and the Q&A after the uh, afternoon showing of the um, of the movie. So that's really exciting. I mean, he was really buzzing. He said, man, this never happens where they add a, a third day to screen a movie. Um, so we're excited about that. Um, I just got back. I went to um, the ear, nose, and throat doctor today. I've never had my ears checked in all these, you know, centuries that I've been roaming this planet. I never had my ears checked. And I thought, Jesus, you know, at this age, I should probably maybe just get in and have them take a look. I was thrilled. You know, they, they, they went down deep into the ear canal, down to the eardrum, and they said it was spotless. I thought maybe this would be gathering crap, but maybe it's filtering crap. I don't know. But they said, oh, no, your ears are really clean. And then they, uh, we, we did the full audio testing, and everything was really good. The very high end is is a little bit diminished, but nothing to be concerned about. He said, oh, you don't ever have to, at this point in your life, never worry about hearing aids or anything like that. And, I mean, I thought it was going to be worse just because of a lifetime of you know, playing music and a lot of it really loud. And I've never worn earplugs or anything. I don't want to be, I don't want to be removed from the experience. And I tried in-ear monitors once and didn't like those. It felt too much like a studio. Um, so, uh, so I was real happy. It was a real good morning to get that, um, get that report from the, uh, from the doctor. And i uh, got a bunch of stuff to do, a bunch of practicing to do. Hand is Still wearing this compression glove when I, you know, most of the time, but it's getting there. I, I played uh, quite a bit yesterday. It was not totally comfortable, and the chops aren't there yet. But you know, when you when you're away from playing for a month, it takes its toll. But I'm getting going to get myself back wound up into the. Um, I'm going to do a real real quick little video today. I mean, I'm always like searching for stuff, and there's so many projects that I've worked on over the years that I, I just can't find information about her stuff. I mean, from like Andy Williams and Jim Neighbors, Anthony Newley, um, all the stuff I did with Yuming Matsutoya in Japan, that stuff had all been blocked. And I did like 26 albums with her, uh, just so many. So, But I keep finding things and then I just came across uh, a, a thing we did with an artist named Carly Hennessy on an album called Ultimate High back in 2001. And this track I'm going to play is called All Kinds of People. And it's myself on bass, Ron Astin on drums, uh, Michael Thompson on guitar, the wonderful Brad Cole on keyboards on this. Um, it was written by Eric Presley, Kevin Gilbert, and Cheryl Crow, and then produced by uh, Steve Dorff, who I've done so much work with over the years. It was mixed by Tony Phillips, and um, engineered by Ben uh, uh, Giordiatis, I believe, Debbie Smith and Ray Pyle. Um, but this is really, really cool stuff. I hadn't heard this since we, we did it, so it's kind of, kind of cool to check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. This is called All Kinds of People. So here we go. This is um, Carly Hennessy. <laughs> There's a time for love and a time for healing 
It's just so much fun digging around in, into the past. This is 21 years ago. And, uh, and just finding these little nuggets that uh, you know, have like long slipped into uh, my own sort of oblivion, just from the standpoint, you, know, you move on and if you never work with the artists again, you know, it sort of drifts back. But having some of the uh, opportunities now with some of the sites where you can dig back and, and discover things that you've worked on, it's really been fun. I mean, for me, this has been like the, one of the biggest adventures of this in, entire um, experience of doing this channel. Um, because I, as I've said before, I never think about my past. I, don't, I really think about what am I up to today and what am I doing tomorrow? The past is already done. It's, it's behind me. But this has required me to address uh, my own discography, my, my history, and explore it. And there's been so many things that uh, I've found that I went, oh, God, I don't know. Or I remember that now, but I haven't heard it in so long. And other times, there's so many, you know, musicians that I've worked with that are no longer with us that in hearing it, all of a sudden, I can kind of close my eyes and I'm back in the studio and thinking, I remember I was sitting right here and Jeff Picaro or Carlos Vega or Larry London or, you know, whoever, Mike Lang, they were, they were all sitting right there. I, I can visualize the room and the experience and what we what we did there and uh, it makes me feel close to friends that are that are gone now so um but that i'll make this short and sweet I, I wish everybody a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend i'll be back over the weekend i'm finding i'll dig around dig some more stuff up um, before too long i'll start playing again too i just i've been easing back into it so i haven't been playing along with any tracks especially since the accident but um getting there and uh, it's uh, and, I, and I spoke with Denny, and he said the uh, the Phoenix um, uh, showing of the movie wasn't a film festival, but it was a, a film. Uh, the, the same people that put on the one in San Diego were doing Phoenix, and they, he did two days there, and he said it got a huge response. I'm so proud for Denny. I mean, I'm proud for us because it's it's about our history and everything, but. Denny has put together, or I mean, to me, the the Wrecking Crew is is an absolute must see movie, and uh, and to uh, see him this continuum into uh, our lives, the way he's approached it and the way he's presented it is really something special. And so we got that. We've got our our singles doing really good. The video just came out for Toughest Girl in Town. Please check it out and. Uh, Hit like on it. It's on YouTube. T Immediate Family, Toughest Girl in Town, which was a Sparks tune, the group Sparks. And uh, Waddy heard it, played it for Cooch, and, and they both said, we got to cover this. We got to do this tune. It's a great song. Video is really, really good. Our Mr. Pearl, Pearl Mutter, who does our videos for us, um, it did an exquisite job on it. So I'm going to wish everybody a great weekend. I'll probably, I'll see whoever tomorrow, but I'm going to get running now and take care of a whole bunch of other crap that I got to get into. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.